Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hey there, this is G Forever. And we're here to review the brand new SH Monster Arts Burning Godzilla 2019 and make comparisons. And here's G Forever with his Burning Godzilla t-shirt. Here's the logo. Mm-hmm. SH Monster Arts logo looking good. And and, and what are you going to compare it to here, G Forever? So we have the SH Monster Arts uh, Godzilla 2019, the standard version. We also have the rare poster color version, uh, which was a Blu-ray exclusive. Uh, we have the NECA Burning Godzilla 2019, as well as the super rare uh, Godzilla Store exclusive uh, Burning Godzilla 2019 movie monster series by Bandai. Bandai, yes. So basically, we've got all the 2019 SH Monster Arts uh, to compare it against. And mm -hmm. and you've got all the 2019 Burning Godzillas in the six-inch yes, scale. Yes, correct. And can, wait a minute, can G Forever get it out of the box? This is always <laughs> one of my favorite parts of, of the videos here. Oh, you're right. getting better at it. Look at that. Yeah, this one, this one wasn't too bad. Yeah. <laughs> so the, uh, the Bandai one, just a quick, uh, you know, quick intro. It's a uh, super hard to get because it's the Godzilla store exclusive and uh, you have to buy the Blu-ray set. And it's sold out in minutes. Yes. Yeah, it was only sold in Japan and it's sold out in minutes. Yep, we tried to get it. Uh, we tried to order it through a third party, but it sold out. Uh, while you're looking at this, this is a beautiful box of the Burning Godzilla uh, S uh, SH Monster Arts 2019. Yeah, this is an excellent box. Yeah, I love it. The box looks great. And uh, yeah, so we tried So going back to the Bandai. Uh, it sold out within minutes. We tried to get it. Um, I finally found it a third party, um, and it was very overpriced for a Bandai figure, but um, didn't really see too many people with it. So I figured uh, it's a nice piece to uh, put in the collection. Yeah. And here's another piece of trivia. It's like, so how long, how long is G Forever going to show a screwdriver on camera? <laughs> if you look on the, if you look on the side, he's got his green, green screwdriver there. Oh yeah. So eventually, eventually he'll remember to, to uh, move it out of the way. But how right. long, how long is it going to be? <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, and you're going to want to watch this whole video for other reasons, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're going to want to see the whole thing. You're going to want to see the comparisons and also the uh, uh, the figure lit from behind. So that's coming yes. up. Yeah, this figure is pretty cool. Like if you put a light on it, it really shines. It really glows. And um, so as you see, like the light's not really on it. It's uh, the red is a little dark. I like the combination of like the dark, yeah, the dark and the light. The light okay and the uh yeah pieces of it and yep. uh yeah i like how the scales look yeah i like how this tail looks mm -hmm. i like the sort i like the sort of like the mixture of colors yeah sort of like some it's dark. blended very well uh on the tail yeah 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 i like the dark uh portions and i like the light portions mm -hmm. and uh i think one thing i don't like too much is like the, the little turtleneck here that he's got. yes yes exactly exactly it i think seems... that's one oh yeah and there's yeah. the gap too like the gap by the thigh yeah, so um, that's, that's you know, from the standard, they haven't fixed it. Um, and yes, the turtleneck is the one thing I don't like about the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2019 okay. for all three of them. And then here's the NECA. Yep. And that was, I think, one of the biggest differences, like the NECA is like a ruby red mm. more than an Much orange. Much darker, yep. Yeah, yeah, ruby red instead of an orange. Yeah, but the red, the red really looks nice in my opinion. I, uh, yeah. I, I think the Monster Arts is a little more movie accurate. Uh, but I do like the red on the NECA a lot more. Um, I guess it's just not so chaotic. Yeah, looking at the spikes on the NECA, though, they're a little pale. I wish I wish the uh, spikes on the NECA were not quite as pale. I think they look better on the Monster Arts. Correct. Yes, the Monster Arts spikes definitely has more detail and, um, I guess, different um, you know uh, paint uh, highlighting. Oh, yeah, and you're pointing out the veins. The NECA has veins on it, which yep. I don't like. I think neither of us like the veins on the NECA. No. Nope. Yeah, yeah especially is. when it's too when it's too like strong. If it if they made yeah. it more subtle, uh, yeah. I wouldn't mind it as much. Yeah, I think the NECA head looks a little better. I think it's uh, uh, a little bigger. Yes, it you don't have that turtleneck issue. Uh, yeah. But the, but the only thing is, without uh, the NECA can't uh, look up uh, straight, whereas right. the Monster Arts can get away with that. Right. With the right. extra articulation. Yeah. So with the Monster Arts, you might just want to have it posed looking straight up. Yeah, uh, since that's you know that's the advantage it has. Oh yeah, and here's the poster, poster mm -hmm. version, also very rare. This was also uh, sold out within minutes, 
You could only yep, you had to um, buy it. It only came with the Blu-ray. Yep. And luckily we have uh, another video of it. So if you can yep. check it out in more detail, you can look at that video. No, it's fun to see these two together. Yeah, they're both um, like translucent figures. So having light yep. uh, lit up, um, l lighting them up really gives them a nice shine and yeah, yeah, but I nice like glow. it. Yeah, just the way they where you got them now. I do like the uh, yeah, I do like, like I said I like the way the burning Godzilla looks here on the video. Yeah, I think on the video he actually looks great. Uh, I think just having like all that light shining on him uh, looks really good. Um, but if you're just in a regular room, you don't have that super bright light that we have. Um, it, it just it's a little dark or or it just doesn't glow as much. But having all this light, it looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's a tails. little different in person. Yeah, yep, the tails. See. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, I think the NECA, the, the one problem I don't like about the tail is that uh, it looks like um, they had like a masking tape and they just ripped it off. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no subtlety there. Yep. But the... Uh... I really like the ruby red on the uh, NECA. Oh yeah, so here's the, the standard monster arts. Yep, this is the standard. So mm -hmm. you'll notice the standard has pupils and the... Mm -hmm. um, uh, the burning Godzilla does not. Um, I think in the movie he does have like a red pupil, um, which I wish they included it um, on the SH Monster Arts version. But yeah, of all of these, I think the standard is my least favorite because it just looks so monotone. It, mm -hmm. looks, it looks like such a, a uniform gray. Mm -hmm. I know it's not completely uniform, but it looks very uniform. Yeah, the, these, yeah, the yeah the blue and the uh, burning look uh, look a lot more exciting. Yeah, if I can only choose one, I might go with the blue because the blue is really, really cool. I like the uh, blue. Oh, yeah, pretty distinctive. And then here's the Bandai. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, yeah this, this is the Ultra. This is pretty rare. Yeah, um, very hard rare to figure, find. especially in the U.S. Yep. Oh, yeah, and he's got his Bandai tag. Yay. He does. And now he's all, like, got a lot of black on him. Yes, yeah, so if you look at all three Burning Godzillas, um, they're all different. They're all unique in their own way. Mm -hmm. The Bandai is more black, and the orange is um, very orange. At first, I didn't really like this figure. Like when I saw it online, you know, it just didn't look attractive at all. Uh, but having it on per in person, the orange really um, is is very different. I don't know for some reason it grew on me a lot. Um, that orange just is become be just became more attractive, and uh, having some light on it too, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Again, the initial photos I didn't didn't also I I saw online I did not like, but he uh, this guy looks yeah. I like I like seeing him here. I like him. Yeah, so we're seeing the articulation, so four points and no tail. Yep. Yeah, for some reason the, the Bandai stopped making tail articulation on their on their figures. I'm not sure why. I think again, I think that's one huge mistake on Bandai's part because a lot of people. Um, want to move the tails. <laughs> yeah. And I do ask, while we're admiring these figures, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can, uh, yeah, yeah, keep keep uh, bringing you even better videos. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, 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 very happy to be uh, showing you these rare figures. But mm -hmm. uh, what we ask in return is that you please subscribe. Yep. There so if are. you look at the... Yeah, here's um, all three. The... These are all the 2019 Burning Godzillas, six-inch scale. Yep. We got all yep. three together. Yep. So they're all different. Look at, you can yeah. tell the middle one is the Bandai is just, it's more black. Um, yeah, the NECA is more red and the uh, monster arts is like chaotic orange and yellow. Um, but um, the, the monster arts definitely has, uh, you know, very nice, um, you know, different um, styling with the, the different um, effects of the paint. There's just a lot more color going on. Yeah, I think, uh, I, I, well, again, as usual, I think if I could only get one, I might get the NECA. But this is one case where I'd, I definitely would want to, like, own both both the NECA and the Monster Arts, I, I'd say. Mm, I would want to yeah. own them. And then the Bandai, the Bandai is so rare and expensive, I, I, I might just admire yours uh, <laughs> rather than yeah, if it, get if, it myself. If the, if the price wasn't so much or if it was, like, a regular release, it's definitely... Uh you know, worthwhile getting, but because it's oh, so and here much... we go. Here's the money shot here, guys. Look at that. Look at that. We got we got. Oh, yeah. Showing it's it's translucent. Oh but, yeah. And by the way, Bluefin is is uh, planning to sell it in the U.S. It sells for about ninety dollars, and Bluefin is going to bring it to the U.S. So you can order it, for example, from a Big Bad Toy Store. Mm -hmm. But Bluefin usually gets it like a month or so, you know, sometime after it comes out in Japan. So it's mm -hmm. just out in Japan. Maybe in another month or so, uh, you can get it, buy it pretty easily within the U.S. Look at that. Yep. Look at that. That looks so good. 
It does. Yeah. Having the light, like a lot of light on it, the figure really pops out. And I think that's when it shines. Um, that's when, you know, then you know that this is what the figure is for. So um, kind of looking back at it, if I have this inside my glass case, this new, the new glass display I have, I think he would look awesome. Uh, just having all that light on it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Especially if you could put a light behind him yep. in your glass case there. Oh, very cool. Very cool. And then, yeah, yeah here's here some different great. shots, different, different light shots. So different angles with looks, the light. Looks good in all kinds of light. Yeah. Okay, G Forever, we showed all three SH Monster Arts 2019 Godzillas. How would you mm -hmm. rank them? Jeez, that's a little tough because um, I really love the uh, 2019 Godzilla. Uh, so I think if I would have to rank them, uh, although I love the uh, the standard, the 2000, um, the standard is like you said, it's a little monotone. I, I think they did a really great job of the detailing on the head. Uh, I just don't really like the gaps in the uh, the turtleneck, but uh, I think that's apparent on all three. Um, so I think this one would be probably the uh, my third choice between the poster version and the um, uh, Burning Godzilla. Now they both are pretty cool. Um, again, I think up close in person, the uh, Burning Godzilla is cool when you have a lot of light on it. Uh, as well as the poster version for the back fins. Uh, so this makes the decision much more harder. Um, but I think I would probably have to say, I think the blue effect still is pretty cool. So I think I'm going to put this as my number two, and my number one would be the poster version. Oh, very cool. Okay, and, and again, we also showed all three, all three, all of the... Uh... 2019 uh, burning Godzillas on the on the six inch scale. So yeah, a, that's uh, up yeah, to date. Yeah, there's an SH Monster Arts. Uh, uh, there's a NECA, and there's the uh, Bandai. So mm -hmm. how would you, how would you uh, uh, rank those? All right, again, they're all if you you know as we saw in the video, all three of them are different in their very own ways. Um, but if I would have to rank them. I would say the Bandai would probably be third place. Um, he's rare. He's um, in person. He looks cool, um, but I think with the detailing and with the lack of articulation in the tail, um, this would be a third uh, place contender. Yeah, I think he looks cool too. But he, he, for a Burning Godzilla, he's very dark. I think normally you want your Burning Godzilla to be to have a little nice more nice and bright. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be more bright. Yeah, I think um, I, I like how the fins uh, look. Um, if you look, you know, especially on camera, you can see how they're really bright uh, with the black in the middle. Uh, they, the, the black actually highlights the, um, the back fin veins pretty well. Um, but yeah, I think you're, you're right. He's a little too black, um, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, he's also very glossy. All right, so that leaves down to these two, the NECA and the SH Monster Arts. Um, so the SH Monster Arts, I think, is more movie accurate. Um, and I really like the back fins. Um, they, you know, the back fins really shine on this figure. However, I really love the ruby red, although it's not movie accurate. Um, the ruby red does uh, stand out for me. And given the price range, um, I think uh, NECA would be the winner for me in this case. Uh, this one, you do have a lot of more articulation, but I really don't like the turtleneck. Uh, if they're going with uh, complete movie accuracy, I wish they had the uh, pupils, um, which is absent on this figure. Very uh, glad that Chief Forever has been willing to share his uh, collection with us. Glad to share it. Yeah, yeah. We ask that you please subscribe. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Heisenberg. And G Forever, hoping you enjoy the SH Monster Arts Burning Godzilla 2019.